So, hey guys, welcome to Comic Gaming. If you're new, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little bell. Comment below, hit the like button, and maybe even share with your friends. Good job. We have cookies. And milk. Might be semen, I'm not sure. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Alright guys, welcome back to Comageddon. I'm going to be reviewing a figure that my wife just got me for my birthday. Of course, my birthday is on Monday the 13th of March. So she went ahead and ordered me the Sherlock action figure from the hit BBC series starring Benedict Cumberbatch. So as you'll notice, the box is pretty much a collector's style box. Now John had a figure just like this at the shop when it was open. However, his was factory mistake. The Benedict, the Sherlock figure actually came packaged upside down, never opened. Now, however, with me, I like to open the boxes. So I never got it because I knew I was going to open it. I didn't want to spend that much money on something I was going to open anyway. So it didn't really make sense. So as you'll notice, it has the door to Sherlock's apartment or his uh, his flat, as they call it over there, 221B Baker Street. I'm a longtime Sherlock Holmes fan. Even in grade school, I would read the old Sherlock Holmes books by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. I, I've just, I've always been intrigued by the character of Sherlock Holmes. He's just, he's an amazing character to get into. We look at the side and you will see Benedict Cumberbatch in his Sherlock attire. Pack includes a violin, a skull, and a cell phone. There's the back of the package. The other side, the top, and the bottom. Then inside, see nice packaging. Benedict Cumberbatch as Sherlock. Then a close up of his face here. And his quote, I need you to maximize your visual memory. And then we got John Watson on the side. It is five inches tall. I was a little worried I, when I first discovered how tall it was. Um, I was a little worried it was going to be too small. Uh, but I think it is really the perfect size. I will get measuring tape out here once I finish going over this guy. And measure it for sure to make sure it is exactly five inches tall. So let's go ahead and take him out of his package and take a look. All right, guys. So as you can see, the, you do have to take a little sticky tape, round circular tape off of it to open it. However, once you do that, it is very easy to keep. If you want to keep the box and display them in box... you are able to do that. Nice little window box. I think I might keep this box just, I won't keep him in the box, but I will keep the box itself. I do like it. It's secured by Velcro on the uh, little flaps. Very nice. So let's go ahead and move this out of the way and we'll take a look at the figure. All right, so as you can see, there is a little cardboard piece for the background. You just remove that rather easily, just slides right off. And you have 
Benedict Cumberbatch as Sherlock. You have the skull, you have the violin, and the um, bow, as well as the cell phone. He is secured in by one rubber band. And the rest are secured in with tape. So let's go ahead and remove that. Take him and the accessories out of the package. We'll go over the accessories first, and then we'll go over Sherlock himself. So first things first, we have the skull here. Very nice detail. Let me go ahead and move this, change the lighting real quick. So we got the skull here. As you can see, they did not skimp on the detail at all. You got hollowed out eye sockets. Got the hollowed out nose slightly, not completely hollowed out, but you can tell it's got depth. You got the mouth and the teeth. Each tooth is sculpted. Very nice sculpt and paint job to the skull. You got the temple sculpt done very well. Got the nice sculpt from where the uh, skull itself actually fuses together. Right there. Nice sculpt of where the uh, spine attaches to the skull. And the jawline. Very nice paint job as you can see here it is a brown and darker a light brown and dark brown to give it a very realistic look I really like it a lot go ahead and set that to the side there we'll take a look at his cell phone now all right cell phone it does look like I think it's a Blackberry I could be wrong not a lot of detail they do have the keypad there and then they could have added a little bit to the uh, screen maybe a sticker or something on there would look good but as it stands it just looks like a black flat piece of plastic very thin probably very easy to lose I know I've almost dropped it quite a few times so there's the cell phone and the skull here is his violin as you can see each string does appear to be sculpted on there. Uh, they didn't do too good of a job on the branding marks for the violin. Um, I know those, I don't think they're supposed to be Branding marks, I think those are actually supposed to be openings for the acoustics of the violin. But even so, not really as sharp looking as they could have been. Very nice brown paint job. Dark brown. Um, with as much detail as they put into the skull... I really wish they could have put a little bit more detail into this violin. Maybe doing a little bit better paint job on the strings. Or for the strings to make them stand out a little bit more. But overall, not bad. It is a softer plastic. So you don't really have to worry about breaking it too easily. It's kind of that gummy plastic. Um, at least on the neck, uh, the body is a little bit thicker, but I think it's the same gummy plastic, just thicker. 
now let's take a look at the bow. Once again, it is that really gummy plastic. Um, they could have probably done a little bit better job with this as well. It just looks like a, a stick, pretty much. Um, with two different shades of brown. So, there's that part. Now let's go ahead and take a look at Sherlock himself. You will notice he has his scarf. It is the blue and striped scarf, and it does move. It's not actually a part of the sculpt. It's actually separate. It looks like they put it on and then put the head on. Um, the jacket is made up of a softer plastic. Very soft. Very flexible. The sculpt just looks amazing. They got all that detail in there. All the folds and creases to the jacket. The buttons on the back. The sculpt to the hair looks amazing. And it does relative look pretty much like Benedict Cumberbatch. Um, it does look like the upper part of the jacket is completely glued onto him, so it only it only moves from the waist down, um, which isn't really a big deal. Um, they could have, however, made it to where you could take the scarf off. That would have been nice. I think he could have gotten a lot more rotation out of his head without the scarf. As it is, his head moves about that far on each side. I think if it weren't for the scarf, he might be able to go further. But, you know what? It, it, it's a really good likeness, so... And his arms do go all the way around. There is a bicep swivel. But they do not go out. And you got the bicep swivel on both sides. You got the elbow joint. It is just a single ball joint. Or a single standard joint, elbow joint. I don't know how well you can see that. Let me bring it closer. There we go. And he does have his wrist joints. It does appear to be on a ball joint. However, you don't get too much movement out of it. It can move slightly around like a ball joint. Um, it can turn. Let's take a look at the sculpt on the hands. The hand sculpt isn't that bad, really. Very nice hand sculpt. They could have put in a little bit better paint job for shadow casting on the fingers. But overall, not bad. Same way with this side. Now we move down to the legs. Bring his arms up real quick. He does have waist swivel. Move. You can turn all the way around. It is just a little bit cumbersome because... <laughs> cumbersome. Cumberbatch is cumbersome. But it is very cumbersome because of the jacket. Uh, difficult. The legs do move all the way out. Or if the jacket wasn't in the way anyway. Let's see here. Bring the jacket up. And the legs do go pretty far out. You get that nice blowing motion of his jacket. It doesn't stay up like that though. 
let me let me put that up again so you can see the articulation a little bit better all right so once again the waist swivel the legs they do go up that far and back that far but they do go pretty far out then you got the thigh swivel go all the way around on both legs you got a standard knee joint and it looks like no no foot articulation um, but it does look like they may be a separate piece so maybe they're just glued in there But overall, not bad. Let's see how well... Okay. Put the file in, in his hand. So you can tell here does appear he's right-handed he's got his violin in his left hand with the bow which I believe goes like this In his right hand, which I believe is very show accurate. Uh, in fact, most musicians you will find are right handed. That's why the majority of instruments are made for right handed musicians. As a musician myself, I play guitar, bass, I can hold my own with drums, and I used to be able to play the piano quite well. So. There you go. He holds it pretty well. Um, I doubt you'd be able to get a whole lot of the uh, violin motion, or violin playing motion out of the other hand, um, simply because of the articulation. Not that it's a bad thing, but nonetheless, you're not going to get you're not going to get a lot of. Uh, violin playing motion out of it this will probably just go right up on my shelf with my other collectibles it'll actually probably go on my mcfarland shelf because it does remind me of a mcfarland toys figure even though it appears it's done by underground toys Underground toys. So now let's see here. Go. We did the violin. Let's see. He's right-handed, so his cell phone would go in his right hand as well. I guess it fits in there okay. It slides in. I don't know who would hold their cell phone like that, but you know, whatever. Let's see how it is in the other hand. Uh, it does not fit in his other hand. He does stand up very well. And yeah, I'm I'm pretty happy with this figure. I really like the details. I I think they did a great job. They could have made his articulation a little bit better. Um, like I said, they could have made it to where the scarf was removable so that we'd get a little bit more articulation out of his head. 
Um, the way Benedict Cumberbatch moves on the show, they could have done uh, double elbow joints and double knee joints and could have probably gone with ankle joints and rockers as well. Uh, but overall, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, I can understand why they didn't go with the ankle joints or rockers because the pant legs I have seen, especially on McFarland toys where the uh, ankle uh, rockers, uh, it will be a little bit more flimsier and cause the figure not to stand as well. Um, but this figure has no problem standing at all. So overall, I'm going to give this guy probably... An 8 out of 10. Go out to your local comic book shop, your local collectible shop, Amazon, eBay. Um, so yeah, there he goes, guys. BBC's Sherlock action figure. Oh yeah, I'll be right back. Let me go get my measuring tape and I will measure him. Alright. Have my handy dandy measuring tool here off, so. he does actually stand about a little over five and a half inches not exactly five inches tall a little bit more, which is nice, because as you can see, he'd look very short if he were exactly five inches. So I am pleased that he's not exactly five inches tall. The box itself is seven and a half inches tall. So it, it, it's going to make a nice display piece. It really is. It's not going to be too big. It will fit in very well with my McFarlane collectibles, my uh, Walking Dead Daryl Dixon on his motorcycle, as well as my Assassin's Creed figures. There you have it, guys. BBC and Underground Toys, Benedict Cumberbatch, Sherlock action figure. Um, I'm really glad my wife got this for me for my birthday. Like I said, he's going to go right up on my shelf and probably going to stay there so I don't lose any of the pieces. And I'll probably put the box in my closet somewhere, hang on to it. So uh, take care, guys. Hope you enjoyed this review. And of course, if you like this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the like, comment below, and share with your friends. <laughs> I hate you.